We do have some Molly straps. However, trying to use those just becomes a problem. First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to talk about my Nelson Rig Hurricane bags. These are the third set of bags that I've put on the KTM 390 Adventure and I think I finally found ones I'm going to stick with for quite a while. What I was looking for was a bag that would be both durable and completely waterproof. I've found that I misplace the bags or I don't put the bags in, I think it's going to be dry and the next thing I know things are wet. So I did have some Tusk Pilot bags that I liked a lot, but I did get things wet on more than one occasion. Entirely my fault, I'm sure it was user error, but I wanted to take that user error out of it. And by going with the Nelson Rig Hurricane bags, as long as I remember to close them, they're gonna be 100% waterproof. Another thing I picked these for was, I'm using them primarily for modal camping. And that means I wanna be able to put things like my chair and my tent, and everything else that tends to be approximately a foot long in there. And at 15 inches, these allow me to take all of my camping gear and just lay it down flat inside of the bag without having to worry about moving things around and fitting them in like Tetris. There's plenty of room with about 28 liters per side. You will see on top here though that I decided to go with just a little bit more space and these are the 15 liter Nelson Rig Hurricane add-on bags and they strap in really well and they hold a decent amount I'm primarily using them for, I stick my food in there, I stick some extra clothes in there, and occasionally I may stick in some extra tools that don't fit elsewhere on the bike if I'm gonna be away for a while. We'll take a look at those after the bags. Here's a little closer look at the bag. You'll see that this is a heavy rubberized material. It has proven to be 100% waterproof in quite a few downpours. Everything is a very durable stitch nylon. We have metal buckles throughout, which is very helpful, should add to the durability. Over here, we have what they call a fuel pouch, which will hold, I believe, a 24 ounce fuel canister. What I've done is gone ahead and put my emergency water in there. This is the water I'm not counting on needing, but if I do, it's here. And if we come around to the back, we do have some molly straps. However, trying to use those just becomes a problem because it's blocked by the straps. And that I would say is a problem. With my pilot bags and with other bags, I've gone ahead and had no problem using molly pouches on the back, but this strapping system they use really interferes with this. And I've just chosen not to use any the other problem I would say is, while these are great, I mean, you can put something in them. I've got water, you can use them for fuel as intended, but again, they're literally in the way of the strapping and I'm not a big fan. Fully waterproof as long as you do it three times around, let the air out. You'll notice these are semi-rigid inside you put a plastic frame which holds it so even if these are empty they're not going to be floppy they're going to look like a halfway decent bag okay let's take a look hit your standard roll it over three times and then clip it in unfortunately unlike the clasp that hold it on these clasps are plastic and i think that's a missed opportunity most of this bag is incredibly durable Everything here is a very heavy material, and if there's a weak link, it's unfortunately going to be these clasps. Inside we have the carry bag, which you may or may not wish to use. And, as you'll see, you can quite easily fit quite a bit. That is everything I need to camp. Obviously, I fill the other side with things that are convenient for me, but 28 liters, this holds enough. And there is the plastic framing that gives it the rigid look. 
which I know it's just cosmetic, but I personally prefer a bag that does not collapse. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. This is a solidly made waterproof bag that so far for the past five and a half months has proven to be absolutely waterproof and durable. If you take a look, they are uh, a little bit dirty. I've seen quite a bit of abuse. There's absolutely no sign of wear on these bags whatsoever. I have fallen on both sides. I have scraped them on dirt, rock, sticks, brush. Near as I can tell, there is just dirt on them. There is absolutely no damage whatsoever. In addition to the pannier, I went ahead and got two of the top roll top bags. They're 15 liters. They're made of the same material as the panniers, including the metal buckles. Got a three locking system that holds them in place and I've not had any kind of problem with them. The reason I got these was so that I could have some place to put things that I want to get out more quickly. The panniers have everything for camping, but I have things like my chair that I may just want to take a stop in the woods and relax, and other things that you may want to get in a hurry, such as your first aid kit. Now, this is great, easy to get into, and I know it's going to be just as durable as the regular bags. Same system, roll it up a couple of times, same flaw, I'm not sure why they're doing it, everything is so high quality except for these plastic buckles. They're the equivalent of a plastic buckle on something from Walmart. I'm not sure why they went in that direction. If you do want to get into the panniers, it's very easy to just unhook a few things and out comes this bag. You either just move it out of the way or remove it entirely. You'll see there is a little bit of uh, durable rubber on there so that if you're putting these on metal panniers, they're not going to have a problem with wearing. So there we have it, the Nelson Rig Hurricane Adventure, etc., etc. bags. I think they are a fantastic bag with a couple of caveats. And I would like to mention, earlier in the video I complained about the straps blocking both the molly in the rear and the holders in the front. And that is absolutely a problem and irks the heck out of me. However, if you are mounting these to a mounting plate, for a quick release system, that problem will go away. I choose not to do so because I don't want the extra weight of the mounting plates. If you're gonna be using mounting plates, the Molly system and the storage pouches in the front become available to you without any kind of problem. So take that into consideration. Your mileage may vary depending on how you wanna mount it. What really, really pushes these over the edge though is that, in my opinion, these are as good as anything out of Giant Loop. I mean, it's the same weight material. They appear to be just as durable as Giant Loop products have been to me. But these are between 225 and 250 on Amazon, depending on the day you look. It varies quite often, so check back if they're 250. But again, worst case scenario, you're gonna pay $250 for a top end bag with a lifetime warranty. Even if you're concerned about the buckles, which you know sits in the back of my mind as a problem, send them back, get the buckle replaced, replace it yourself. There are options. But the bag overall is an incredibly solid package for $250. I really don't think you can go wrong. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. I have been using these bags for about five and a half months. I've used them for overnight trips. I've used them for a four day trip. A Little bit of experience with them. And again, if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you and take care.